Well, good morning, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Happy Friday to you. Steve Collins coming to you from gorgeous San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys are fired up, excited, ready to go. Today is going to be a little interesting. My desire daily is to bring you wisdom, insight, revelation, and understanding so that you know how to recover quickly when you blow it or you mess something up or something doesn't go necessarily the way you had hoped it would go. So I want to begin with this scripture that may be familiar to some of you. It may not be familiar to many of you listening in the audience. And it was the night that Jesus was going to be betrayed. You see, he knew it. He knew it was going to happen. He was aware that it was going to happen. And it was one of his inner circle. And he called it out. Now, the fascinating thing about this story has to do with purpose, and I'm going to talk about it in relation to your purpose, okay? When you are on the path to your purpose. Yesterday, I spoke about not forsaking the pain that's part of the process on the path to your prosperity and your purpose. We cannot attempt to escape the pain of the process because it's the pain of the process that prepares you to be able to handle the prosperity where you are going. The same person that got you in your situation right now, you can't be the same person that's going to experience this new big life. For things to change, you've got to change, Jim Rohn says. For things to get better, you've got to get better. So we're working on you. This is how we're working today. So this relates to your purpose when you're on the path to your purpose. Now, some of you may or may not know, I'm going to treat this story as if nobody all knows about this. Y'all like, who's this guy named Jesus? So he had these 12 dudes that he hung out with and he was like, you know, this guy who was doing cool stuff back a couple thousand years ago, might have heard about him at Easter or Christmas time, Christmas time, ladies and gentlemen, ain't about a fat guy in a red suit. So what happened was his closest buddy, his closest buddy, a dude named Peter was listening and Jesus was talking about what was going to happen. He's like, yep. Yeah, it's coming, man. I'm about ready to go to town. They're going to drag me into the streets. They're going to beat me, tear me up, man. They're going to they're gonna take me out. This is my hood version, so you guys can get it. They're going to take me out. Peter said, that's not going to happen. That'll never happen, man. I got your back. Well, there we go. Now, let me tell you something. Whenever I talk about the man with the J-E-S-U-S, -S, my live feeds get wacky. What does that tell you? This is an important message for somebody. Thank you for hanging in there. Appreciate you guys for coming back here. He said, I will never let that happen to you, Lord. Never. I got your back. And you know what Jesus said to his best buddy? You Get this, guys. He said this. He said, Satan, get behind me. He goes, you don't have the things of man, uh, God in mind. You have the things of man in mind. You know, you're thinking ain't right on this, dude. He rebuked his buddy. He called his buddy Satan, man. He said, yeah, uh, uh, uh. He rebuked his buddy who was trying to help him. Now, in this verse that I put in the beginning, I tell you truly, one of you will betray me. If you read further, he looks to Judas and he looks at Judas and here's what he says to Judas. He says, friend, what you must do, do quickly. Now get this, ladies and gentlemen, his closest, tightest buddy who's trying to hook him up and help him out and say, man, no, no, it ain't going to happen to you. He said, Satan. To the guy that was going to betray him with a kiss, he said, friend, what does this tell you? This tells you that his purpose, like yours, see, he knew his purpose. He knew where he was going. He knew what he was doing. He knew what he was called to do, what he was supposed to do. He knew what he was on the earth to do. And his buddy who loved him out of self-preservation missed that. And his friend and his love for Jesus and Peter's love for Jesus was actually tempting to pull him away from his purpose by saying, I got your back. It ain't going to happen to you, buddy. He was pulling him from purpose. And Judas, albeit that Christ's purpose was very gruesome to lay his life down. He knew Judas was pushing him towards his purpose. So he called him friend. He rebuked his buddy and he called his betrayer friend. So what do I bring this to a head for? Let me tell you something fascinating that many of you guys do not know. I actually have a team of prayer warriors who got me covered, y'all. 
and I get intel from time to time and I get information back and forth and and I just you know I know what I'm doing is bigger than just that's why I'm not charging y'all for all this man I know what I'm doing is bigger than just um, a job okay this is my desire to change people's lives when you have a sense that you are in your purpose do not be surprised if someone or something rises up to come against you to keep you out of your purpose. In fact, I would challenge you to expect it. If it happened to the very son of God, it makes you think it ain't gonna happen to you. You see, when you are walking in your purpose on the path to becoming all God created you to be, resistance is part of the deal. Resistance is part of what's gonna happen. Look at this, every time I do these these morning videos about Jesus, crazy stuff happens like, my rooftop is acting crazy. So I'm just gonna leave it crazy like that so I can finish this out without being distracted. Do not be surprised when you have resistance that comes against you when you are walking on the path to your purpose. On the path to your purpose, if you're not having resistance, you might not actually be on the path you're supposed to be on. I heard an old preacher one time say, if you don't fear the devil, you might be walking in his direction. So think about it this way and be aware of it this way. Don't be shocked if you have resistance. Don't be shocked if you have opposition. Don't be shocked if uh, not everyone who is following you has your best interest in mind. You understand what I'm saying? Everybody who's watching you don't necessarily have your best interest in mind. You have got to be faithful to what you believe God has called you to do and to be and to have. And like we spoke about yesterday, don't care about what people think about you and care about what people think about you. What does that mean? Don't care about what people think about you to the point that it pushes you off the path of your purpose. Do not allow those who are not connected to you to have that type of influence over you. Do not care what people think about you when it comes to your purpose. Care what people think about you as you increase in leadership and influence because know that you are actually an example. You are becoming a living example. You may be the only Bible somebody reads. You may be the only good life somebody reads. You have no place to complain about anything going on in this world if you're not living the life that you would want everybody else to live. Let me ask you this question in closing. If this country was made up of people like you who were at where you are spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, relationally, financially, would our country be amazing or would it be a train wreck? That's a great question, ain't it? So I pose this to you, my friends. Do not be weirded out when opposition comes. Do not be weirded out when opposition shows up. Expect it. You expect it and you don't let it derail you. You just keep moving forward. And the people who are nice to you might need to say, step away. And the ones who are a little crazy with you, you might need to say, how you doing, friend? Thank you for that. Thank you for that. That's pushing me to my purpose of building a thick skin and keeping a soft heart so that I can walk the path to my purpose on the way to prosperity, becoming all that God created me to be. Don't be a scurred when you have resistance. Recognize that's probably a pretty good sign that you're on the right path. Have a great Friday, guys.